Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design and I'm glad you could join me here today for this little project share. Today I'm working with the gorgeous papers from Graphic 45's Little Darlings Deluxe Collector's Edition. I have always loved this collection from the first time it came out and was thrilled when they released it as a DCE. So this is a special card folio that I've created for a family friend who just gave birth to their first baby. It measures five and a quarter inches wide by seven and a quarter inches tall and has a quarter inch spine. This is one of my card folios. I love to make these because they're not just a card, they're a gift, and this one actually serves as a kind of mini album as well. So we'll just take a look at the elements that are here and um, then we'll look at the inside. I've layered and stitched uh, layers from the designer papers onto the front of the card. And as you can see, this is super dimensional. One of the ways I achieve this is by backing the layers with waste chipboard. And it just gives lift and dimension and gives a card a wonderful art feel. I've also fussy cut elements from the signature page, like this little boy and these beautiful flower clusters. And then I've added chipboard elements from the chipboard pack that comes with the collection. This lovely circular frame with the mother and baby and this sweet little chipboard button. To further embellish the card, I've used one of these gorgeous shabby chic um, keyholes. Uh, this is Graphic 45 Staples and two shabby chic keys that I just tapped with some ivory paint and tied with silver string onto the keyhole. For my ribbon cluster, I've used this color band, canvas color band ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. This is the light blue. And I created my bow cluster with ivory burlap string, some petaloo roses, and forget-me-nots. I've carried those over here on the side, um, and then again up here at the top, just to really give this a shabby, chic, soft feel. When I finished making the cover, I diluted some more of the same ivory paint and just spattered it on with a paintbrush to kind of give the paper um, even more of a shabby, chic feel, a little more aged, and I love the way it turned out. I should mention that all the edges are distressed with a Tim Holtz distressing tool. So let's look inside. These folios, I'm absolutely addicted to making them. They are such a wonderful gift to give, but so much more manageable to make than a mini album. This is one of my favorite tricks to use. I love this image from the cut apart page, but it's really big. and. I wanted to feature it in this album. So when I cut it out, I added an extra half inch of paper over on the side. I just cut this, this right hand side a half inch wider than the left. Then I scored along that line to create a flap. And I glued the flap underneath the layers so that you don't see the mechanism. And it's just a seamless way to pre present a little folio like this. For the closure this time, I took one of the stickers from the sticker sheet that comes with the collection, this lullaby sticker, and I just pressed the left hand edge of it a couple of times onto a tea towel to reduce the tackiness, but it's still sticky enough to work as a closure, but not so sticky that it's going to tear the paper, so that's a really good tip. Um, this little chipboard piece is just glued onto the side, topped with some burlap string, and a little flower. Inside, I've added a stamped sentiment and a little soft stenciling on the blue paper, and then I fussy cut this sweet baby boy and postage um, postmark, and then tore a strip of this uh, word collage paper from the collection to just make my sentiment. And then over here is a little waterfall cascade, and these are so simple to make. I cut my cardstock to measure four and a half inches wide by five inches tall, then score a half inch flap along the top. And you can see the score line here. And this becomes the hinge for the mechanism. And then you just line each succeeding um, piece up 
with the bottom edge and you've got a fun little waterfall feature. I've decorated this with little stamps and cut aparts from the collection, being sure to leave them open on the top edges and on the sides so that photos can be added. This way you can dress up your album, but it can still be, it can still hold all those wonderful photos of baby's first days. Then down on the bottom, I created a pocket, and to do this, I just folded the paper up um, and then decorated the pocket piece. Inside, I've got this little tiny folio. This is three and a half inches by four and a half inches, and I've just decorated it up with layered papers, an image from the cut apart page, a postage stamp that I cut with shaped scissors. Fiskars makes these, and you can pick them up at any craft store some little covered blue gingham buttons, and then inside, here's a pocket where we'll put our gift card and our own personal note. So this is um, just, I had such fun working with these gorgeous papers and wanted to share with you. Hopefully you've gotten some tips and tricks and ideas that you can use in your own crafty adventures. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Thanks for joining me. And